It's a pleasure and an honor to uh, introduce our guest today, a man whose fame rises to a level that kind of renders the standard introduction pattern completely obsolete. I could tell you about his 123 books, I counted, uh, the seven <laughs> books that have been written about him, the 38 doctoral, uh, honorary doctoral degrees uh, that he's been granted. I could tell you about the species of bee that has been named after him, Noam um, Chomsky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first one, your early view of the potential abuse of the internet as a political medium seemed to convey a wait and see attitude. How has your view evolved and where do you think the balance of power is headed? Well, the internet is obviously a tremendous research tool. We use it all the time. I assume by internet you mean more generally the whole uh, kind of IT system that's developed. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's certainly useful for activists and organizers. Uh, uh, most, uh, almost all uh, activist uh, efforts and enterprises involve intercommunication through the internet. Uh, on the other hand, as we don't have to talk about the fact that it's a tremendous tool for uh, power systems to control and dominate in all sorts of ways. I, by now, hardly have to mention the uh, NSA uh, revelations, Edward Snowden's revelations. Uh, uh, commercial institutions like Google, for example, use it to uh, undermine privacy and independence in all kinds of ways. Uh, the, um, so the balance of power is where it always was and expanding. Uh, any technology that's around is going to be used by systems of concentrated power to dominate and control. And you can't open a newspaper now without new, new things uh, appearing. So take this morning. If you happen to look at this morning's newspaper, there, uh, there was a report of an associated report, uh, press, uh, some uh, revelations that they've dug out recently about uh, uh, efforts to develop by uh, the US government through USAID, USAID, which is supposed to be an aid organization, to carry forward the US intensive US efforts to undermine and overthrow the government of Cuba. And uh, you read the report, it's interesting for what it says and what it doesn't say. Uh, what it says is that uh, the government through USAID has set up, tried to set up uh, a kind of a social media inside Cuba that could be used to uh, organize uh, crowds uh, to protest with the people not really knowing who, who they're working for and what they're doing. And the original AP report, most of which didn't get printed, at least in what I saw, uh, says that this has already been used in many other places, the Philippines, and Ukraine, and so on, to try to uh, organize anti-government protests, uh, which raises quite a few questions about what's going on around the world. Uh, well, this is uh, one of the techniques that's being used for subversion, domination, and control. This is an Obama program, incidentally, not Bush. And uh, what's said is interesting. What isn't said is interesting. And here, the power of the internet uh, uh, looms in the background. You can quickly find out what isn't inter said on the internet if you look for it. Well, coming back to the internet, uh, what's interesting is what is available and what isn't readily available because people don't see it. Like you won't find a word about anything I said in the press or in commentary or discussion, although it's all extremely timely, very timely, you know, not arcane scholarship. Uh, but it's right in front of our eyes, but not there. And when you come back to the power of the internet, I think it uh, comes back to us. We don't use it. We don't use the resource uh, for the purposes for which it could be used to break through the silence, oppression, domination, terror, violence, uh, uh, bring the reality of the world to people. So the internet potentially is a wonderful tool, but only if you decide to use it. If you decide to leave it in the hands of uh, private power, 
uh, of power systems, whether state or private, sure, it'll be used as a way to oppress and undermine and dominate. Uh, but that's a choice. You don't have to. Well, on that note, we will be posting this on YouTube. What? <laughs> We're going to be posting this talk on YouTube, so your comments will be on the internet. Happy to say. Internet, but they won't be in the New York Times. Ah. <laughs>